Hello, uh, these three amorphous solar panels put out 61 watts each. They're made by Unisolar, now owned by General Electric. I've wired them in series, series connection. So, they, uh, each one was 12 volt output, so by putting them in series, it makes it so they put out 36 volts, the same amount of voltage that's needed to uh, charge these six batteries, 12 volt DC deep cycle batteries, which put out 36 volts. So this one is charging at 30 at uh, 61 watts. As you can see, the red and black wires, the red is positive, and if you follow it down here, it's going into the plug that goes into the car in the front here. Okay. That plug, impossible to reverse polarity with that plug. So, you got the red wire and the black wire. So there's a red terminal on the back of the panel, uh, which is positive, uh, a negative uh, screw. When you tighten down the wire, that's negative. So you got this positive one, as we already saw, goes to the car. The, ne the negative one is going to this next panel. That's the series connection. It's hooked on a positive <coughs> screw. Then the negative, or this black wire, goes, and it's hooked to the positive here. So then the negative wire, if we look at it enough, it's going down here, the black wire, also going into this wire, it goes to the plug. And we just plug it in here. And I leave that plugged in almost all the time so that these batteries tend to get overcharged. That's why there's all this goop on there. Acid residue from being overcharged so much. These batteries are three years old and will probably last for at least two more years. This vehicle itself, I redid to input the solar charging 13 years ago. Still runs like a top.